Hello, science students. Um, your assignment today is to read this article about atoms and do the worksheet that goes with it. I will be reading this aloud to you if you choose to listen, which you are going to choose that because it will help you with the work that you are expected to do independently. So the first thing I need you to do is grab a pencil and I want you to type in your name or actually write your name. I'll be typing. You're going to write your name at the top of your paper and um, this needs to be your name, not my name. And even though there's not a place for the hour, I want you to put it right here where I'm typing the word hour. And then today's date is 10-25-2020. So do that. You may need to hit pause so you can get it done, but go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the title of our article is What Are Atoms? When I go through here, I'll be using a highlighter to highlight some things. I expect you to do that as well because it will help you with your work that you will complete by yourself. So here we go. What are atoms? Matter is made of atoms. Atoms are short, or a sort of like building blocks or bricks in a building. Like blocks and bricks, some atoms fit together well to make something larger and some don't. To understand chemical changes, we need to understand what atoms are. Atoms are the smallest bits of matter that get changed around during a chemical change. But, like building blocks, atoms don't change so they will fit better. Think of a child playing with building blocks. She wouldn't saw a block in half to make it fit better. About 200 years ago, scientists agreed that matter is made of atoms. It took another 100 years to learn what the main parts of atoms are and how they are arranged. This picture shows the three main parts of an atom. They are electrons, protons, and neutrons. First thing we're going to highlight is right here where it says the three main parts of an atom. They are electrons, protons, and neutrons. Highlight that. And then go to your picture that they talked about. Your picture's up here. Um, I want you to highlight the electrons, which are in the shells. We know that already. But here they are on your paper. My highlight's not working very well. Let's see if I can choose another one. Oh, I'll try again. Ah, uh, there it goes. Electrons. Electrons. And then you have your protons in the center along with your neutrons. I want you to make a connection here. There are the same number of protons that they are that there are electrons. So you have three protons and three electrons. Now the neutrons, they're different. There, there can be as many or there can be as little as there needs to be. Here is um, this label here, though it says nucleus. Remember, guys, the center of your atom that contains the protons and neutrons is called the nucleus. Okay, let's continue reading. This is called the atomic model. A model is not a true picture of a thing. Scientists use models like this to help explain things that are hard to picture exactly. These are some ideas that the atomic model helps us understand. Highlight this phrase, atomic model. Remember, guys, we use models to think about atoms because we really can't see them. Um, so scientists create these models, and we represent them very similar to what you see on your paper. Here are some things, numbers 1 through 7, that models help us understand. Number 1, highlight the whole thing. Atoms are mostly empty space. I know there's a question on, on your worksheet about this. Uh, three main parts of atoms are electrons, protons, and neutrons. We've already highlighted that in our reading. Most of the mass of an atom is in the small center called the nucleus. 
The nucleus is where all the neutrons and protons are found. This is important. There's a question about this. The heaviest part of the atom is in the nucleus. That is what this is saying. It says most of the mass, most of the weight is in the center. Electrons circle the nucleus at different distances. This is also in your questions. Number five, neutrons and protons have about the same mass. I'm sorry, neutrons and protons have about the same mass. Electrons have much less mass than neutrons and protons. So what this is saying is that neutrons and protons, go ahead and highlight with me, weigh about the same. But the electrons, which are on the outside, have less mass than both the neutrons and protons put together. And guys, once again, it goes back to the fact that the heaviest part, number three, the heaviest part of the atom is the nucleus. Number six, the number of electrons in an atom equals the number of protons. Look at this. I just told you that when we looked at the model up here. Right here. The number of protons, one, two, three, is equal to the number of electrons, one, two, three. If they're not equal, you got problems. Um, the number of neutrons is about the same, but can be a little different. This is true. Sometimes you'll see that all three uh, parts, neutrons, protons, and electrons, are the same. Um, but sometimes there probably is one more neutron than there is protons. Number seven, you guys have been experienced, you have experienced this before. It says electrons have a minus or negative charge, okay? And protons have a plus charge. Go ahead and highlight all this. And of course, then neutrons have no charge. They are neutral, hanging out by themselves, just watching the action. Okay, next page. And just so you know, guys, we're not going to do where it says stop. So you can cross that out right now. Um, in fact, I think I can even cross it out on my page. Look at that. I'm getting good at this. Cross that off. So if you take a look with me, please, on the next page, title again is What Are Atoms? We're just continuing reading. Now, let's put all these ideas together. In an atom, small negative electrons circle the nucleus. The nucleus is made of larger positive protons and uncharged neutrons. Atoms are mostly empty space. Most of an atom's mass is in the middle. The number of electrons equals the number of protons. Wow, everything in this paragraph, science students, is everything that is in numbers one through seven. We won't do any highlighting there. Scientists have learned a lot. I'm sorry, let me start over. Scientists have learned a lot more than this, but these are the most important things to remember about atoms. The model on page 8 shows one kind of atom called a lithium atom. There are about a hundred other kinds of atoms, each with its own number of electrons, protons, and neutrons. Go back up here, guys. This is page 8. Okay, this is the lithium atom right here. The very bottom of your page, it says, all of these things about atoms were figured out before anyone ever saw an atom. People just thought hard about how matter behaved in experiments. They got ideas, which led to more experiments. After many years, they came up with this model of an atom. Okay, so go now to your worksheet. You will have to add your first and last name on your worksheet as well. So here it is. Here is my name. You are writing this with your pencil, the hour, and the date. Um, today is 10, 25, 21. When I write hour, you need to fill in whatever hour you're in. Depends on what class you're in. Okay, here we go. Number one, I'll read these to you. Your job is to answer them. 
you will want to hit pause so after you hear the question you can go back and look for the answer. It says put a check mark next to the answer that is most correct. Letter A says which is true about an atom? So you're, check, you're putting one check mark in whatever statement is true. A says atoms have no mass. B, atoms are mostly empty space. C, most of the space in an atom is taken up by the nucleus. D, electrons have much more mass than protons or neutrons. So I would suggest going back to this list of seven things and seeing which one of those, which one of these statements A through D is on there. I can tell you right now, D is not the right answer. There's going to be actually two of these that are true, so you're checking two. B, which two things have about the same mass? That was definitely in those one through seven that I just showed you. A, protons and atoms. B, atoms and electrons. C, neutrons and protons. D, electrons and protons. Right now you can eliminate A. A is not the correct answer. So you're choosing from B, C, or D. Letter C, which statement, I'm sorry, which scientists I can't even talk. Which did scientists understand first? A. Matter is made of atoms. B. Electrons circle the nucleus. C. Atoms are mostly empty space. Or D. Atoms are made of electrons, protons, and neutrons. What did they understand first? Your, the key here is the word first. You'll have to go back to your reading to Think about what scientists understood first. Number two. Number two says, fill in each blank with a word from the list. Some words will be used more than once. Okay, A, blank circle the nucleus. Your options are electron, nucleus, neutron, or proton. Hit pause if you need to. Letter D or B. The blank is made up of neutrons and protons. Your options are electron, nucleus, neutron, proton. C, blank have a plus charge. Okay, your options are up here. Electron, nucleus, neutron, or proton. Letter D, most of the mass of an atom is in the blank. So what part's the heaviest? Electron, nucleus, neutron, proton. Hit pause if you need to. Letter E. Atoms have the same number of blank and blank. Electrons, nucleus, neutrons, proton. There's two answers. You're going to put one here and one here. Letter F. Blank have no charge. Your options are electron, nucleus, neutron, or proton. Okay, so turn your paper over. Um, we're going to continue talking about atoms, and we're going to fill out this chart. It says complete the table with the information from the reading passage. You have a row across the top. The title of this column says atom part. So you have your electrons, protons, or neutrons. This column says how much mass? A little, a lot, or a little? So it wants you to go back to your reading and find where it talks about the mass of an electron. You're either going to write a lot or a little. You're either going to write a lot or a little. And in the reading it does say this. This next column, electrical charge, you're going to go back and look for the electron, proton, and neutron. Maybe you remember these. Is there a plus or positive charge? A minus or negative charge? Or is there no charge or zero? So you're writing in these boxes 
either plus, minus, or zero. Letter C for this column, it says position inside or outside the nucleus. So you're going to go through each of these electron, proton, and neutron, and in these boxes, you're writing inside or outside. You're writing that in these three boxes. So electron, for example, we can do this one together. Electron, I know that that is outside the nucleus, so you're writing outside. Which two have e about equal mass? Which two have about equal mass? Okay. That one, this one will be kind of difficult. Here's what I want you to do with this column. I want you to take your pencil and X out this column. Yes, this is an X. Look at that. So you're just doing the first three columns. You can handle that. Letter B. Label the parts of the atom in the diagram below. Write E in the circle if it is an electron. Okay, you can do that. E for electron. Write P in the circle if it is a proton. And N in the circle if it is a neutron. So basically I want you to identify the parts. Okay. All right, that's all I have here, guys. I hope that this video was helpful, and I will see you later. Bye.